What is going on Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabed and today we're back with another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle. Today we're going up against Uzi aka the Uzi Gunner. You guys have probably heard of him. If not, definitely check him out. Link to his Twitter and his YouTube will be in the description below. Go show him some love from me guys. The link to this team build if you guys have not seen it will be in the description as well. It's our Mono Greg team. So if you don't know what that means you really should check out the team builder. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun building it. If you guys do want a chance to battle me, make sure you do follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description below. I'm going to flash the team really quickly here. We've got So Greg, Greg, also Greg, still Greg, not so Greg, and kind of Greg, the Jirachi Mega Pidgeot, Excadrill, Hippowdon, Jellicent, and the Heliolisk. So uh, if you want to, like I said, tons of fun. Go check out the team builder. Go check out the team builder. I'm going to pull out the good old camera on my phone here. And we are going to battle Uzi in what I hope is a match for the ages. Because we've had two really good battles with this team so far. I'm not going to spoil either of them. They're both really wonderful matches. I'm going to take a picture. Oh my gosh. My camera froze. My camera literally froze. This is this is dwindling my response time to Steam. <clears throat> there we go. So, <clears throat> oh my goodness, I need some water. Excuse me. I'm losing precious thinking time for this battle. Um, hey, Padon's a pretty safe lead. Uh, he could lead off with the trying to set up rocks. He could lead off with something like a Zoomerill or Rotom Wash predicting that. He could lead off with a Weavile. Um, I am going to lead off with Hippowdon. Just to get the sand up. Because we don't, we don't have Mold Breaker, Excadrill, we do have Sand Rush, so the Levitate users um, aren't going to hinder this team. The Levitate users that Uzi is bringing will hinder this team. Um, this is going to be a fun matchup. He does have, uh, he's got two huge fire weaknesses that Jirachi can take advantage of with that Fire Punch. Um, but he does have Flash Fire and the Heatran. He's got two huge resistances as well. Leads off with Azu. Um, nothing wrong with that. He can go for the likes of a belly drum here. He can go for, um, like, I want to say, I want to say we can take a hit. I want to say, no, I don't even want to bother taking a hit. I don't even want to bother taking a hit. I'm going to go on to Jellison. It's water absorb. It's water absorb. He can't touch us. I can talk to something. Because his answer to the Jellison looks like the, uh, goes for the knockoff. That's crucial. Oh my gosh. I'm blown back right now. I'm blown back. Um, I come in here with a Sand Rush Iron Head and hit something. I come in with a Sand Rush Iron Head and hit something hard. Wow, that Azumarill just blew me back. Blizz is coming through. He doesn't want to take that Iron Head. So he's probably going to go on to the Rotom, actually. Because he knows I cannot touch it with an EQ. Oh, that's physically defensive Rotom. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Our Spadef wall is gone. The Jellicent's gone. We're... This team's... This team's disgusting. If we had Mold Breaker on here, it'd be a little bit better. But I wanted the Sand Rush. Um... I'm going to go on to Kinda Greg here. I'm going to go on to Kinda Greg and try to hit it with a T-Bolt. See how that works. He goes for the Volt Switch just to get the uh, just to get that uh, Switch initiative. We're going to be able to eat that up. Um, I'm curious what he wants to go on into. Because we've got Surf for the Heatran. We've got T-Bolt for this and that. Um, he can go out into Scissor. He can go out into Scissor. We've got Sandville Bright Powder. So. We've got that. We've got a No Guard Mega Pidgeot, and we've got a Sandville Bright Powder. So we've got the best of both worlds as far as accuracy on this team goes. Um, but I do think he does want to. Um, I mean, even. No, Weavile outspeeds. Weavile outspeeds every day. Go on to Weavile. 
could go out into... I feel like Scissors will play. Tamina Snuka. The Weavile. Okay. So... Now we can switch into the extra drill. Switch in the extra drill to take the fake out. And go for a volt switch with this thing. I'm gonna click volt switch. I'm gonna click volt switch and hope we live. Or hope he misses. If he goes for like an icicle crash and he misses because of sand veil. It'd be huge. It'd be absolutely huge. In previous battles, we have seen 100% accurate moves not hit this uh, this Heliolisk. Goes to the Icicle Crash. He connects it. That's incredible. That's incredible that he connects that. Oh, my goodness. Knocks out Kinda Greg. This I'm getting blown back right now. I'm getting blown back right now. Um, This team is getting completely demolished. So, I will go into... Um, I go into also Greg here. And then I double back out into... Jirachi. I'm going to double back out into Jirachi here. Did it work? I don't think it did. Did it work? Yes, it did work. Okay, so what's he going into? Is he going to the Rotom Wash? Does it on the Rotom Wash. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So whatever's coming in is taking a Body Slam and is getting paralyzed. Oh, he's... Oh, you're you're that... He, I forgot. You're physically defensive. This isn't fun. I'm clicking Iron Head now. You can't get paralyzed. I can just flinch you. And he gets the burn. Ah! Moldbreaker would have been so much better. I'm, I'm, no competition. No competition right now. So now Greg's... So Greg is neutralized. So Greg's completely 100% neutralized. I can just click Body Slam. Predicting. Like, if he switches, I can just go for Body Slams. But I can't paralyze this thing at all. This does nothing. He goes for the Volt Switch. So all I can do is Body Slam things. I feel like the Extra Drill comes out. Rotom Wash destroys this team. Oh my gosh. At least... Oh. Losing the the Jellison was not my intentions. But here we are. Here we are. He's going to be able to get a knockoff. Off. off. And that's going to kill Jirachi. So the best thing I can do is hope he predicts me to switch. Nope, goes to the knockoff. This is the best play. He's going to knock off something. Jirachi's going to go down. I have a feeling I'm about to get harshly 6 0 right now. Just tremendously 6 0 Um, I'm bringing the sand back. I'm bringing the sand back. Still Greg come through. I'd love to get some rocks up for all the switching he's doing. But that does kind of force Latios or Latios to come out. He's gonna withdraw. Is he going to the Latios? Latios? It was on the Rotom, that's fine. We do get free rocks up here. Um, I do kind of want to keep this thing around just to kind of keep whittling his team down. Because I feel a Willow or a Hydro Pump coming on. And I don't want either of those. So I'm going to switch out into... The Heliolisk is good. The Heliolisk is dead. I forgot the Heliolisk is dead. So, switch out to Mega Pidgeot. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to use my oh shit button, which is the... Uh, which is the no guard hyper beam. My oh shit button is a no guard balls to the wall hyper beam.
Because that's all I can really do against this thing. This Mega Evolve and Hyper Beam and hope it kills me. <laughs> He's gonna withdraw. Who's he gonna withdraw into? Heatran? Heatran. Shit. So he takes Rock's damage. I could have double backed out and I pout on. Son of a bitch. This is just, this is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see my oh shit button come off. And that does absolutely nothing. Does absolutely nothing. I'm glad I got to use my oh shit button though. Three battles later, I wanted to use my oh shit button. So, what we do here is we recharge. Because I have no other option other than to recharge. He can go for Lava Plume. Safe play, safe play. That is not going to kill us. Now, I can U turn out just for chip damage and bring in the Hippowdon. And set Greg off at another time. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I could have actually went for my oh shit button again. Just to get more damage off. But I'm going to U turn out. I don't want to get. Uh, it does literally one. Probably does one. Um, I can go out into Still Greg, and I can Stone Edge away, because the Earthquake will scare him out. Stone Edge, it's still not going to touch him. Still not going to touch him. That Rotom Wash just kind of sits in front of my team. Mold Breaker! Ah, whatever. I wanted Sand Rush, I went with Sand Rush, Mold Breaker would have won the game. Mold Breaker would have won the game, but it does not. Um, I'm just going to go for a Stone Edge here. He knows he can take the hit with uh, he knows he can take the hit with the Rotom, so he's gonna switch out to the Rotom. There it is. This defensive core is disgusting. Takes more to rocks, he's gonna take more to sand. The Stone Edge is gonna do a lot, right? No, nope, doesn't do anything. So you miss the Will-O-Wisp, right? That's what you're gonna do, is you're gonna miss the Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to switch out to Greg. I'm going to sack off Greg here. I'm getting completely demolished by this defensive core. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Run and wash and heat drain. Oh my goodness. It's nuts. It is absolutely nuts. Man, Mold Breaker would have been so good, but it is what it is. So we see he is going to go for the Hydro Bomb. Um, I do want to go into Excadrill and just try to get like some colossal damage off. Uh, I'm just going to go for Rock Slide. I feel like Rock Slide is my best play because he resists the steal. I'll go for Rock Slide here. Iron Head, Iron Head uh, has a higher chance of flinch, I want to say. No, I think they're both 30% chance, but he does resist the steal, so I'm going to go for the Rock Slide here. Um, all I can do is have leftovers and Rock Slide damage. Just kind of chip away at him. So I don't get 6 out by a Rotom Wash E-Train Core. That does a ton of damage. Does he flinch? He goes for the Hydro Pump and he also connects the Hydro Pump. That's awful. That's awful. Because Greg is going to also Greg is gonna go down. Man, if you would have missed that Hydro Pump, we would have might have had a better chance. So we're going to bring in the Pout on here. We're, gonna, we're not going to get 6 out. We're going to get 5 out. We're going to get 5 out by this core. Bring the sand back. Sand's going to do some damage. The stone edge is going to do some damage. We can take a hydro pump. Confident we can take a hydro pump. I... I... We took a Grass Knot. We can take a Hydro Bomb. We took a Grass Knot in an earlier episode of Wi-Fi Battle Series. He missed the Hydro Bomb. We get the Stone Edge off. Stone Edge, in combination with Sandstorm, should be able to knock this thing out. Yes! <laughs> we're not getting 6 0 Yay! Yay! We're not getting bested by Uzi, who's a tr tr tremendously phenomenal battler. Goes down to the Azumarill. He's going to hit me with the Waterfall. I'm going to hit him with an EQ. 
Iki's gonna do a ton, right? Ch oh, I feel like he, he choice banded. That HP bar is dropping. We do live on 32. I'm gonna do as much damage to Azumarill as I possibly can, and it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough. That's gonna be game. It's gonna be absolutely game. There's there's a reason why I respect Uzi as a battler. Um, as you guys can see, we had some luck with this team beforehand, um, but now um, Uzi's just gonna come through and completely demolish my hopes and dreams ever being good at Pokemon competitively. <laughs> So, if you guys have enjoyed, show some love to either that thumbs up or that thumbs down button. Be fair to me in the comment section. Let me know why down below. Show some love to Uzi, guys. As you guys can see, he's a tremendous, tremendous battler. As always, if you guys are new to the city, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. All that being said, my name's Crimson Seabed, and I will talk to you all soon. Later.